just got back from the barber and had a fresh trim and he was telling me um, how he's just broken up with his wife and over the past few weeks he's lost 8 kg not intentionally uh, he's not been working out or anything like that it's just through stress but uh, he's looking a lot better and he said to me yo James I think about going to the gym and I was like yeah that's good man and he's like I've not been for a long time though I'm like how often how many times a week do you think I should go and I told him to go every single day because if you do something every single day it's non-negotiable okay there's like there's no room for negotiating with yourself because you just go every single day whereas if you only go three times a week or four times a week it's so much easier to skip a day because it's just less significant and you can also negotiate with yourself and you can say oh it's okay I won't go today I'll go tomorrow and then tomorrow comes along and then you'll say oh I won't go today I'll go tomorrow but you don't have that privilege available to you when you just decide that you're gonna go every single day and when you're just starting out something like for example for him he was he's not been to the gym for a very long time and he's a beginning he doesn't know what he's doing he needs to go more often because when you first start something you're not gonna be good at it right and it's very difficult to like something you're not good at in fact it's impossible it's impossible for you to like something you're not good at really uh, but something that you're really good at you know something that you're much better than your friends and your peers and uh, the people around you naturally you're gonna like that thing just because you're so much better at it than other people and so the fastest way to get good is to just do something every single day but also the reason why I recommend going to the gym every single day is because it creates a habit like especially it's almost like cleaning your teeth you know if you, you don't wake up in the morning and not clean your teeth it just feels a little bit weird well the same can be for like say for example for me now like it, I wake up around 6 by 9 a.m. Let's just see if I can fit this here. <clears throat> it's a bit wonky. Sorry about that. Okay, that'll do. Right? So by by 9 a.m., if I haven't been to the gym, it just feels weird. It feels weird because I go every single day. Um, but if, I'd, if I only went four days a week, three days a week, it wouldn't feel that weird if I didn't go to the gym one day but because I go every single day it's now it's harder for me to not go to the gym than it is to go to the gym you understand but when you're first starting out it's harder for you to go to the gym than it is to not go to the gym but the only way you get to that point is by creating a habit and the fastest way to create a habit is to do something every day like it's so much easier to create a daily habit than it is to create a habit that you do three or four times a week and really that's why I recommend going to the gym every single day even if you're just starting out especially if you are the sort of person that skips workouts if you negotiate with yourself and you tell yourself oh it's okay I'm not gonna go today I don't really feel like it or this or that you need to stop that BS you need to stop that bullshit and just decide that I'm gonna go every single day and ideally you would do it at the same time every single day so for me it's about 8 30 9 9 a.m. if I haven't gone to the gym it, it, by this point it just feels weird but it wasn't always like this for myself like I started training I've been training like 16 years now and for most of those years of training uh, I didn't see massive results because I wasn't putting a massive amount of effort in but if you're gonna do something and it's worth you decide that it's worth doing why not do it every single day you know what I mean because that's doing something daily is the only way you get good and it's a bit like compound interest you understand like the the concept of compounding a lot of people just think compounding um, just applies to finances and saving money 
but actually it applies to everything in your life it applies to relationships but it also applies to skills and habits like going to the gym so if you go to the gym every single day and you make it a non-negotiable and you do this for say 30 days by day 31 it's going to be so much do you think it's going to be easier for you to go to the gym the next day or harder like after 31 days realistically it's going to be harder for you to not go to the gym than it is to go to the gym so all you have to do is just decide for the next 30 days i'm going to go to the gym every single day without fail and after 30 days which is relatively speaking is not a long time at all it's just going to become a habit and then it's going to be harder for you to not go to the gym so if you have a problem with skipping workouts and you're not showing up for the gym when you should be try this for the next 30 days go to the gym every single day now some of you are going to be saying oh this is crazy advice you shouldn't be telling me to lift weights every single day look I'm not telling you to lift weights every day just go to the gym every day still followed uh, still follow a structured training plan where maybe you have some rest days but on those rest days doesn't mean you can go sit on the sofa and do nothing doesn't mean you can give yourself excuses still go to the gym but maybe you just do some cardio maybe you just do some mobility maybe you take a class maybe you do some yoga just do something and at the same time every single day and you do that for 30 days it's impossible that you don't feel weird by not going to the gym so that's a little hack um, for those of you out there who struggle with going to the gym st struggle with remaining consistent and struggle to just keep showing up for yourselves so uh, I hope that helps.